This is MFT Raw and here are some camera news. It's a great time to be in the market for an action camera right now. We have just had the release of the GoPro Hero 13 series and DJI have just dropped the Action 5 Pro as we reported on in the last episode. Two amazingly capable cameras, but the best might still be yet to come. If you're undecided about which one of these to go for, then maybe you should hold on for just a little bit longer as Insta360's latest action camera should be announced very soon. First, Insta360 Ace Pro 2 leak showed us a slightly blurry image of the front of the camera where we can see a similar design to the first Ace Pro, but here it's indicated that it's shooting at 8K 30 frames per second. It also says that it has dual AI chips written just below the screen and is using a Leica branded removable lens cover. A more recent post from Arsene Lupin showed us the full press images from every angle, but a new leak from Photo Rab shows off the product packaging and goes into a lot of detail about what the camera will be capable of. But the images that I got were from an anonymous email that I received a few days ago and I was very happy about it because we finally saw the real image of the camera. We don't have AI dual chip written on the camera on the front side because that was the prototype I think and the official one does not have that label on the front side and the camera is capable to take 50 megapixel images. So a similar sensor size to the GoPro, dual AI chips, better low light, better close focusing, 8K 30 frames per second at 16 by 9, but only 8-bit color and no mention of battery performance just yet. The action cam market is on fire right now. DJI are super busy at the moment. They have already dropped one drone this year, the DJI Neo, and have just announced the Action 5 Pro camera to compete with GoPro's latest Hero 13. And now leaks of both the Air 3S and Mavic 4 have just bubbled up. For the Air 3S, we have Quadro News who had a very short video showing the drone in flight. Now it is extremely short, just two seconds long, but I've managed to slow it down so we can have a better look. Most obviously we have two cameras on the gimbal which is something that the Air S2 didn't have but obviously the Air 3 does, which DJI released last year. Some are claiming that this will have one camera which is a larger 1 inch sensor and another which is a 1 over 1.3 inch sensor. A definite upgrade to the Air 3 which used two 1 over 1.3 inch sensors. There's also a photo floating around with what looks like the image that would be on the box and reporting from Notebook Check on the pricing saying that this will actually be a little bit cheaper than the previous Air 2S coming in at just under 1000 US dollars. The picture also gives us a glimpse of those collision sensors, which some are speculating may be LiDAR or possibly even time of flight sensors, which would be a big upgrade from the Air 2S as that drone did have some blind spots in its collision detection system. Ostial TV on X gives us a good look at what seems to be a damaged Mavic 4, showing us the Hasselblad branded camera housing and gimbal ripped out, as well as damage to one of the rotor arms and battery casing, although the battery did seem to still fire up. The look of that camera does marry up with an earlier leak that we had. This Mavic 4 shot is quite confusing to look at. The image shows the old Mavic Pro strapped to the new Mavic 4 with a Sony and Panasonic camera all strapped together. Why? No one knows. Some people have speculated that this is DJI trying to fake marketing shots of their products by using pro cameras to take marketing material, which I'm not entirely convinced about. Why would you need to strap it to the drone to fake it? Let me know what you think down in the comments about that. Either way, this is a drone that a lot of people are very excited about, me included. If you're interested in shooting macro photography or even portraits and you use a Sony E-mount or Nikon Z-mount camera, then this will definitely interest you. Tamron have just announced their full frame 90mm f2.8 Di3 VXD one-to-one -one macro lens. This is the latest iteration of a very popular lens that they've been making for decades and now it's finally in mirrorless form. Tamron say that this new lens offers unparalleled sharpness from centre to edge and a velvety bokeh effect, don't they all? It has a 12-bladed circular aperture, a first for Tamron, which they emphasize gives a great sunburst effect when stopped down. The lens construction is 15 elements in 12 groups with four low dispersion lens elements. We've got a filter diameter of 67 millimeter and a minimum focusing distance of 0.23 meters. The lens will also have a special lens hood designed to allow you to adjust and rotate filters with the hood attached. Price, $699, which is actually $400 less than the equivalent from Sony. 
finally, I always like to end on something more general to photography, and Viltrox have announced a global photography contest, the Viltrox Imaging Awards 2024. This competition is open to anyone, but all submissions must have been taken with Viltrox lenses and gear. There are various different categories which offer some really tempting prizes, including Viltrox and co-sponsors gear. The winners will also have the opportunity to be featured in future Viltrox promotional material, as well as cash awards all the way up to 10 grand for the overall winner. Categories include portraits, astronomy, landscape, animals and plants, architecture, documentary, art, and a short film category. If you fancy some of that, then you have until the 31st of March 2025 to get your entries in, with the winners being announced later that year on June 25th. That's all for today. Hit like and subscribe to keep up with all the latest camera and tech news and reviews. I've been away for a long time, but I'm back. We're on the way to 1,000 subscribers, so join the MFT crew and let's build this together. Peace.